Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the MetaNet channel. I am Marcus, bringing you another video for Card Fight Vanguard Overdress. In this video, we will be talking about Ghosty Leader Dimitra. Wait, that's not right. I mean, uh, Felty Rosa. So, for Felty Rosa, of course, Felty Rosa is the third or fourth. I, I lost count actually. Deck for Lyrical Monastrial. She features a kind of like a tactical multi-attacking playstyle. She does focus having more ghost units in the deck, hence why I did make a joke of ghosties. Ghosties, the Ghosties leader Demetra in the beginning of the video because it does kind of reminds you of Grand Blue, but it's actually in Lyrical Monastery, which is Bermuda. The overall game plan for Felty Rosa is to attack for 5 times very consistently by drive checking into ghost units. Of course, this does not decrease the chances of you drive checking into a trigger because if you do drive check into the ghost units, you're able to call them out in the front row open rearguard circle. After that, it will plus a drive, meaning that you will never minus yourself by using her skill to superior call to multi-attack. So she is gonna plus a drive, which is very, very nice and will most likely increase your chances of getting a trigger. There is a thing that I wanted to comment on this playstyle is that it kind of feels like the G Spike Brothers playstyle a little bit where after some of their Unix attack they will go back to bottom. Yeah, there's you will see some similarity of skills between Celti Rosa's unit versus G Spike Brothers. This is a faster version of Final Rush. What I say by that is that Final Rush can only activate their skill on the fourth turn and beyond. Whereas for Felty Rosa, you're able to multi-attack right off the gate when you ride into Felty Rosa. This deck does require a relatively high brain power to in order to pilot because while yes, you are able to attack multiple times, but then it does do requires you to have some key components in your deck or in your hand that is to either put themselves back to the top deck for Felty Rosa skill to attack or to kind of like maintain your resources because you, t you tend to eat a lot of resources with this deck. And of course, as the turn goes on, your consistency in dry checking into the ghost unit will tend to drop off because you might, you may or may not have that resources or it might get retired by your opponent. So do keep in mind, but it is a interesting deck nonetheless. This also features a ghosty girls team. So if you're into that, yeah, this is the deck for you. First off, of course, is we're gonna talk about Admired Elder Sister Felty Rosa. Yeah, very nice name, Bushi. Very nice name. So, generic starter, nothing much. Skip. So, the Great One Felty Rosa. Beautiful day of Felty Rosa. When this unit is rolled upon, cost, so blast one, choose up to one ghost in your drop and put it into your hand. Second skill, continuous vanguard or rearguard circle. During your turn, if you have a ghost on your rearguard circle, this unit gets 2k power. So of course, this will definitely be your right target. I, I would really suggest you playing one piece of this because she's not doing anything in the rearguard. So. You are able to kind of recycle the discard cost for the right cost when you of course ride the grade 2 Felty Rosa on top of her. You're able to kind of like recycle that discard cost in order to ride from the right deck to Sapiro call one unit. And also not to mention, you, you are able to Soul Blast herself and call out herself from the drop zone since, since she is also a ghost. So something to keep about. It's quite efficient in terms of using their own resources. Her being a 10k or a 8k booster is nice, but then this may require you to basically call another ghost unit on the rearguard circle for her to plus 2k. But even so, she you are able to put on some aggression early on if you do decide to call herself when you ride the grade 2, that is. Because for sure you're able to soul blast one because there's t technically two souls when you ride on top of her using the grade 2 Felty Rosa, which we will talk about later. Next, of course, is the great 2 Felty Rosa, Talent of Enjoyment, Felty Rosa. She has two skill. Auto, when this unit is rolled upon, review a ghost normal unit from hand and put it on top of your deck. Choose a ghost from your drop zone and put it into your hand. Second skill, continuous vanguard or rearguard circle. During your turn, if you have three or more ghosts on your rearguard, this unit gets 5k power. So, of course, uh, your right target. Do keep in mind here is that the timing for Felty Rosa skill. When this unit is rolled upon, you need to review one ghost normal unit from your hand and put it on top of your deck. And then only then you choose a ghost 
from your drop and put it into your hand. What this means is that you would need to have a normal ghost unit in your hand in order to pay for the cost of this skill. And second, you will need to have a ghost, just a ghost unit, You do, it, it can be a ghost trigger unit, it can be a ghost normal unit, does not care, and put it into your hand. But this could basically recycle some of the triggers, some of the ghost triggers if this deck has it in the deck and put it into your back to your hand which will therefore increase your shield value in of your hand which is very very nice while also kind of recycle some of the ghost on play skill that you may you may or may not see so this skill does rewards you if you want to go aggress aggressive as well as if your opponent wants to like deny you something and attack the rear guard so this skill is also quite good and technically this is free Technically, so she is also the reason why your grade 3 Felty Rosa will be able to attack five times right off the gate as she kind of sets up the first or maybe the fourth attack at the moment that you ride your grade 3 Felty Rosa. But then, as you can see, since she is an unridden skill, as your turn keeps go on and on, you will not be able to have like a very consistent way of checking to normal ghost unit on your drive check. Your consistency will tend to drop off unless, of course, you keep drawing into your key units that will basically guarantee you that ghost unit drive check. And then we come to the grade 3 Felty Rosa. Rondo of Dust Moon Felty Rosa. Auto, Vanguard Circle. When your drive check reveals a ghost normal unit, you may call that unit to an open regard circle. Then, if you call Kano Blast 1 this unit plus 1 drive until the end of that battle. During this battle, increase the drive of this unit by 1. Even if this is the last drive check of the battle, you will still perform an additional drive check. So, of course, like I mentioned in the summary, 5 attacks right off the bat without question unless of course you do not have counter blast then even without the counter blast you are still able to attack for five times because the only requirement for that skill is basically you need to drive check into a ghost normal unit you are still able to call it to the front row regardless if you pay one counter blast or not the counter blast is there is just for the drive check this unit is able to only call up to two rear guards in the front row because uh, it specifically says open so Meaning that most of your rear guard support, after their attack, they will either go to the top or go to the bottom. So, which is why I say the similarities of Felty Rosa's unit and G Spike Brothers. It's almost the same. Now, we are going to look on the triple R for Felty Rosa, which is Capri Seal of Circulating Star, Ingrid. And of course, most of this unit are going to be ghosts. So, yeah, pretty much self explanatory. Although, when this unit is placed on rearguard circle, under then from hand, counter charge one. Stand one of your other rearguard in the same column and stand it. Well, whoops. Second skill, auto rearguard circle. When this unit attacks, this unit gets 5k power until the end of that battle. At the end of that battle, put this unit on the bottom of your deck. It must be put on the bottom of your deck. So this card is basically your main unit to be put on top of the deck if you are using the Great 2 Felty Rosa on Riddle skill. She is your kind of your main source of counter charging, but then the problem here is that she will go back to deck if you did she attack. The second skill is basically mandatory, so there's no you have no say in whether or not you want to give it plus 5k power. You will always have a full power rearguard attacking column because of course once she plays from the dry check in front of a unit that boosted before she will always restand that booster which means you will always have a two attacking column with full power next off we have the great two double r a serenata dedicated to my lady eleanor auto rearguard when this unit attacks soul blast two and this unit gets 15k power until the end of the battle at the end of that battle put this unit on top of your deck now once again this unit will definitely be your main attacker as well as one of the targets for you to put on top of your deck we are the great two felty rosa skill this is also one of the key units to guarantee felty rosa skill because she put herself on top of the deck and she is a ghost unit putting herself back to deck is quite nice as you will guarantee another attack off from felty rosa but do keep in mind is that this unit costs you two soul bass which is going to be heavy pay extra attention to your soul count because this unit costs two soul. Next, we have the another double R, hand holding Ernestar. Auto back row rearguard circle. When your other ghost is placed on rearguard circle during your battle phase, stand this unit. So yeah, I mean this is basically works as a restander and probably your main priority 
power trigger target as well. I mean, you will want to give the trigger power to this unit if you do not have a front row, that is. Overall, quite nice and helps you maintain your power column, which is disgusting. Next, we're gonna look at Selfie Practice Analyst. Analyze? Analyze? Uh, auto rigor. At the end of the battle, this unit attack while boosted. Put this unit into your soul. Choose one of your rear guards and it gets 5k power until the end of turn. This is one of those cards that actually gives you some resources back. Uh, so basically, after you attack with her while boosting, you're able to put herself to soul to give 5k power to basically all your restanding rear guards, your great ones at the back. Because you have a lot of stuff that actually restands or the great ones that basically restands themselves, which will give value to your later attacks. This unit also helps you empty out the front row for Felty Rosa skills since Felty Rosa is only able to call in an empty front row circle. Next up, we have Longing Tied Up Hell Week. Auto, when this unit is placed on rearguard circle during your battle phase, put this unit into your soul and draw a card. Something to note here is that there is like no once per turn on the Great Three Felty Rosa. So if, for example, you did dry check into this, you're able to call her out, put her to soul and draw a card. And then you're able to pay one counter blast to basically dry check until you get another ghost unit. So in certain sense, you're able to plus one out of your double dry check or four. She provides you with two things. One is the much needed soul as well as draw. This card is really, really good. And what's more, she is free of cost. Technically not really free of cost because you need to pay one counter blast just to get uh, another unit because she herself moves to soul and you will need one counter blast to call another unit. So only use this if you are very, very sure that you are going to dry check another ghost unit. Next up, we have Fulfill Sweets and Selma. What's with this name though? Auto back row rearguard circle once per turn. When your other unit is placed on rearguard circle during your battle phase, soul blast two and draw a card. So this card is similar to the grade two, the previous, the double R grade two that we talked about. She does gives you a draw, but at the cost of soul blasting too. So your soul is going to be quite tight, I would say. Only use this card if you have a, like an abundance of soul. So you really need to plan ahead before paying for this cost reckless. Lastly, we have this questionable lolly ghosty girl thing. Little lady Helmina. She has one skill, of course. Auto, when this unit is placed on rearguard circle, if you have another ghost on rearguard, choose one of your rearguards and it gets 5k power until the end of turn. So this is a quite kind of a decent draw check unit because what she does is she basically only gives another 5k to another rear guard, but it's not going to be as game breaking. But then her value comes in the early game. If you call her in the early game, she, you are able to give another another one rear guard 5k power, which will let you have a more aggressive turn because with the 5k power and you are able to give something else 5k power is kind of deadly. Also, do keep in mind that she is able to give herself the 5k or other units 5k. Do plan ahead before you use any of the skills for Felty Rosa. As I mentioned, this deck does require you to have quite a high piloting skills in order to perform well. And that is all for this video. Do let me know down in the comment section on what do you think on Felty Rosa. Is it a grand blue or is it more to its lyrical monastery or Bermuda in this sense. Do like and subscribe if you like this video and don't forget to ring the bell notification icon so that you don't miss a video I upload. With that being said, I'll see you all on the field.